Oh, this is very difficult. I think this is white to play and win. Let me make sure what's well, white to play and win. Yeah, white's move. Okay. Okay, so obviously Bar says white is winning, but that doesn't mean that I can solve it easily. And you guys were wondering how hard they are. Um, Black wants to make a queen. So rookie three, rookie three B2 looks like an obvious con. Oh, do you have bishop f5 here? Okay, the question is here, is this a win or a draw? I think there's a stalemate some, somehow. So let's see. Okay, this is very tricky. Wait a second. This is extremely tricky. So the only moves here, Black wants to, Black wants to get a new queen. Uh, so you either have to go rookie three or rookie five. Only two moves. Um, there's some kind of stalemate. I just I have to figure out how to make the stalemate. My instinct says it's something stupid like bishop g4 and some stalemate, but I don't know. How do you make a stalemate here? Um, rookie five b2 does not look right. I want to say it's something stupid like bishop e. Oh, oh, wait a second. I just spotted something here. It takes or might be some kind of weird stalemate trick with rook check. Okay, so I think it's a stalemate. Hmm. Gotta be a rook move. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, let's start a timer, actually. Let me start a timer right now. Let me let me start a timer. Okay, what are the moves here? Okay. Okay, there's... There's um, this out. There's Rook A8, there's Rook E5, and Rook E3. There only are three moves that make sense here. Um... There's some way that you can jettison all the rooks. That's the only thing. There's some way to jettison the rooks. Rook E3 seems like the right move. I'm looking for something very stupid. But I don't quite see it. The problem is the G3 pawn is always the problem with stalemate. If this G3 pawn isn't here, it's a problem. Did I meet Winston? Do you mean Duck's Dog? Um... Uh, let's see. So what are the moves? Rookie 5, B2. Gotta jettison the bishop. It's like that, um... It's like, you know, when you're on a... When you're on a... Like, one of those rockets. You, you have to... You have to jettison the bishop somehow here. I will need over 30 minutes on this puzzle. Yeah, you've, you've got to jettison this bishop. It's like when you're... When you're doing, like, what's it? The Saturn IV rocket or something. You, you've got to jettison... You, you've got to jettison the bishop. Um, it's like... I don't know what's the move here. Uh, thank you to Mr. Snickle for the seven months. Thank you so much. Um, maybe rookie five here? Not sure. Uh, those are those are the rockets, right? The old rockets that they used to use, or am I wrong? <laughs> Do I think the government should increase interest rate on G seconds to reduce inflation? Okay, guys. Um, let me think for a second. Okay, there are really only two moves. There's rookie three and there's rookie five. Those are the only two moves that make any sense here. Nothing else makes sense. If black is a queen, you lose. Um, I mean, I feel like it's something stupid like rookie three again. I'm trying to figure this out. Huh. Um. Yeah. This position could happen in real game. Yeah. I mean, rookie five is my instinct. Uh, my first instinct is that rookie five is like takes queen, check king h7 and rookie seven. That actually looks kind of right. Actually, why is that not right? Wait a second. Let me think about this. Rookie five, ah, rookie five, b2, rookie eight. He has e1. No, but then you just, wait a second. So rookie five, b2, rook to e8, b1 queen, king f7, king h7, rook. No, rookie seven is no good. I feel like I'm very, I feel like I'm so close here. I don't know what it is, but I feel, this feels close. I 
Actually, no, you have rook d8, rook e7 also. Wait, you have rook d8, rook e7 as well. Huh. Wait, so, okay, let's see. Rook e5. My instinct is that it's rook e5. My, I really trust that it's rook e5. Rook e5, b2, and then there are two options. You either go rook e8 or you go king f7. Like, takes queen. Rook d8, king h7, rook e7 looks like a draw to me. No, but then he queens. So you have to go the other way. You have to go the other way with rook e8 and rook d7 because otherwise the queen captures the rook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's... Let me think about this. I think it's here, here, takes queen, and then you have to go rook d8, king h7. No, but rook e7, he's still queen. Huh. So complicated. Hmm. This is very hard. Queen. Check king h7. Yes, yeah, complicated. Oh, this is very difficult. Yeah, this is very, very difficult. Yeah, this is very hard. There's no checking. This is a draw with correct play. I should know the goal. The goal is that there's some kind of stalemate. I'm almost certain. Of well, it can't be stalemate though because I guess the only way to get a stalemate is with the bishop at g4. So it can't be a uh, it can't be a stalemate. So what I, I know it's one of these two moves. I just I don't know which one it is. It, you can't get a stalemate. Oh, it's white to play and win. Oh, I thought it was white to play and draw. Okay, white to play and win. That kind of changes it actually. Five B two. White to play and win. How do you ever win here? How on earth do you win this position? Ah. Oh. This is very hard. I think Prometheus for the prime, Helkinus for the prime thing, or Jerry Moe for the three. Some kind of sack here. I just don't know what it is. Oh, Jan was watching. He spoiled it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my instinct is that there's, there's, if, if it's a win, it's different. Cause if it's a draw, it would be like, it would be like G4, or Bishop G4. But now that I know it's not stalemate, it's white to play and win. It has to be some trick with like some Bishop F5. I just, I have to find the, I have to, oh, it's Rook B5. Oh, it's Rook B5 and Rook E6. Oh, it's Rook B, oh, it's Rook B5 and Rook E6. It just hit me like a lightning bolt. Yeah, I think it's here, here, Bishop F5 takes Rook B5. Takes Rook G6. Oh, it just hit me like a lightning bolt. Yes, it just hit me like a lightning bolt. Oh, there's rookie six. Wait, there's rookie. Wait a second, but wait, wait, wait. Rookie three, b2, bishop f5, takes rook b5. No, there's no trick for black. Or no, there, rookie six. No, but you take, take and go g6 again and win. So there's actually then rookie three should just win. Rookie three, b2, bishop f5. GF5, Rook B5, and there's nothing. Yeah, it just wins. Yeah, it's just winning. Yeah, yeah, it just, it's just winning. You go Rook E3, B2, Bishop F5, takes Rook B5, and it's winning, right? And the bar comes back. Like, I actually, I wonder, does it show it at the start? Let me, I'm curious. Does it show it? Does it show it?
Low depth. Oh, wait. So it goes... It doesn't show the win. But actually, the fact that it doesn't show the win... Wait a second. Let me go further, because I just realized after... Fv6, G6. H4, G7. King F7, G8. King H6, King F7. Just an easy win. Just checkmate. It doesn't show it. Let me let me see. How long does it take to show it on Unlimited? Ah, now it shows an instantly. It shows instantly. Wow. Just shows instantly at 23. Yeah. But anyway, the Lions rookie three, B2, Bishop F5 to cover the pawn. Takes and rook B5. And uh, the line I thought was maybe rookie six, but you just trade and go G6 and win. And when black, uh, when black goes rook takes B5, you go rookie six. Um, rookie six here, threat and checkmate. Has to take, and then you go G6, pawn passes. H4, G7, king H7, queen, king H6, king F7, and next move is queen G6, mate. So that's uh, that's game over.